pretty much when you look at a string, you're having to daisy chain a lot of the cables together. Inside this large container lies the future. Thousands of lithium ion batteries are linked together, the same type of battery that helps power your smartphone. The mission of this pilot project by Puget Sound Energy is to test the evolving world of battery storage and what it could mean in the years ahead. We're gonna learn how the certain different battery technologies work and how they work in different use cases and how we can really apply them, say, on a more grid scale level. Information gathered here is being analyzed by the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, along with data from battery storage projects being tested by other utilities. For PSC, the focus is on three key areas. First, how the batteries help reduce the electric system load during periods of high demand on a, say, a cold winter day to discharge the batteries, which can be easily recharged. It's not like gas where you're burning it and you can't get it back. So we can discharge into a peak and provide power to our customers and, and meet that, that peak demand. Second, the batteries can help balance power supply and demand with intermittent renewable generation. When wind, hydro, or solar isn't producing as much energy, the batteries can help fill the gap. This is the technology that's gonna allow us to take that power store for long periods of time when we do lose the sun or do lose the wind and everything, we can then power up. And finally, the batteries can offer short-term backup power for the small town of Glacier during outages. The battery storage project is funded in part by a $3.8 million smart grid grant from the Washington State Department of Commerce, in addition to more than $6 million invested by PSE. You're going to see more of these. Just guarantee you're going to see more of these. After an upgrade to the substation right next door to the battery storage units, testing will be ramped up over the summer. In Glacier, Washington, I'm Ray Lane for PSE-TV.